Uh, Chris, Chris Chinock here for Display Central here at uh, Display Week 2014. Uh, I'm with Michael Peshkin with Tangible Haptics. And you've developed a, 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 an interesting haptic technology uh, where you slide your finger uh, across the display. This is a panel that goes on top, basically replaces the, uh, the touch screen on top of an LCD panel. And you, when you slide your finger sideways, you get a, a, a sensation, a, a tactile sen sensation, uh, which feels like changes in friction. And that friction is created by an electrostatic force. So tell us exactly how this works. Well, that's exactly right. When you slide your finger across this, we are turning on and off electrostatics. And that pulls your finger down as if you are one of the plates of a capacitor. So your finger is pulled down into the glass. And therefore, the friction increases or decreases under software control. So we can um, uh, modulate these, in this case, stripe pattern. You feel those as you, draw, as you drag your finger over them. We can modulate that, put it anywhere on the screen. That could be menu items. That could be a uh, keyboard. That could be the edges of things. That could be parts of the game, all under software control. And it's done all on the surface of this piece of glass, which for us integrates both the production of these haptic effects and also the sensing of where your finger is, which is the usual thing you expect the glass to do. So it's our own haptic one glass solution. Okay. Uh, it's done at reasonable voltages. It could be done multi-touch. You can track different fingers. It can be done multi-haptic, which means that you've got different sensations in different fingers. You don't have to um, touch the, the case of the device. You can touch it or not touch it. Uh, and it just um, works as a single glass solution. Okay. So um, the, the, the idea is really is kind of an enabling technology. You want to get this into the hands of, of creative folks. Now, do you, there is obviously some software control, but do you have a, like an SDK to help them do that kind of integration? Are you that far along yet? One of, our, one of our things under development is a kit because we really count on uh, those creative people, the user interface creators to come up with really the best applications for this. I'd see this in the future as being just an expected part of what you, what you expect to feel. When you touch a touch screen, you want to feel something back from it. And if it doesn't do that, it'll feel like it's broken. And integrating those effects into your just everyday interaction with your touch screen is really what we're, what we're expecting to see. Yeah, they, they, and the, the, the effect is definitely noticeable. As you slide your finger back and forth, you can, you can feel the effect. Although you, it, it, it doesn't uh, react if you touch it as a conventional touch screen. You have to have this, this sliding motion to, uh, to feel the effect. Uh, so does this, uh, the implementation of this, is, is this uh, costly? Does it add a lot of power? Is it thickness? Tell me about some of those features. It's um, not costly. It's actually made with the same kind of processing steps that are conventional now. There's nothing um, extremely novel in the, in the processing steps. And this piece of glass is intended to replace the existing cover glass and the existing touch sensing. So that technology is all incorporated together with the haptics. Okay. And, the, and the patterning is similar to a touch sensor. So this, there's, there's no particularly um, compelling or developmental technology here. It's, it's more in the software application. It's in software, but it's also in hardware. I mean, there are definitely hardware components of this, both electronic and in the processing. But they are not, um, I would not say that they, they overturn what you're doing with, uh, with glass processing now. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with this. And uh, I hope you get a lot of people coming and taking a look at this video and trying it out. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Chris Chinock for Display Central.